Shalawam, shalawam, shalawam. First and foremost, I would like to give all the honours, you know, all the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. Goes by the name of Yahweh, by Sham, Yahweh Shai, by Hasham, Kodash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence, honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit as well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days, because we are living in the last days of the last days, so we're going to flow with the Spirit, and Lord willing, this will be edifying to the hopeful elect that are across the globe. Okay. And this is going to be basically prophecy, prophecy, prophecy on Jacob's trouble. What does that entail? We're going to go into what it entails. Right? A lot of misery, a lot of panic, a lot of disturbances, a lot of uncertainty for the masses. That's what it entails. Right? So we're going to start off first on Matthews. All right, let's go to Matthew 24. And we're going to jump straight to... I think we could read Matthew 24 and jump straight to verse 4. Jump to 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, you have a shy, right? The disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us when these things shall be. And what shall, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So they wanted to know the disciples... What was going to be the end signs of the Lord Jehovah's return and the end of the world? When it talks about the end of a world, end of an age, end of an empire. Because remember, I forgot where it says it, but it says the kingdom of... From the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. That was the Romans which were known as Edomites that were taking it by force. Okay. And check this out, check this out. And what sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto Rem, Take heed that no man deceive you. No man. So we're in a time of great deception. Yahweh shall told us to look out for deception in these last days. In the times leading to Jacob's trouble. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So it says, see that you be not troubled, you're going to hear of wars, rumours of wars, right? But don't be troubled when you hear these things, for all these things must come to pass. So we're seeing that all through the media, different nations rising up against each other, whether you want to say Ukraine, Russia, North Korea, China, Iran, was seeing all that right but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation kingdom against kingdom and there should be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places famines and earthquakes in diverse places right all these are the beginning of sorrows yeah it's just the beginning of sorrows. Just the beginning. Right? And these are the souls leading up to Jacob's trouble. When shall they de deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you? Not all brothers, some of you. That's why really you want to be... It says they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and kill you. I always say that's why you've got to be careful who you're around. If you're not around much people, that's good. Right? And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So the hate, you're really going to start to see it. You're really going to start to see that hate. Right? You're going to see that hate in so much ways. Okay? And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right? So the scripture says that. We were going to be hated. For the Lord's sake. Right? For his sake. Okay? Scripture says these things, right? And it says, you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So you're not hated because you've done anything wrong. 
you're hated because of the message you have. Do you not understand how powerful this word is that you're teaching? You might think, you know, it's just a small thing. Bro, you're irritating, you're disturbing people's demons, man. That's what you're doing. That's what we're doing. I've got to stop saying you. That's what we're doing. And it says, Then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. Watch out for that spirit of offence. Many shall be offended. And you know what, bro? I can't sugarcoat my words. I've seen that. Being in camps, untrustworthy. Men, they get offended. Um, you may say something. This man goes missing. I've said it before. You may say something in front of a man. He's behind the other side of the camera. He goes missing. He gets emotional. And just by that time, demons could jump on him. And the next thing, he's offended. And guess what that causes? That offence. And shall betray one another. Judas Iscariot spirit. And shall betray. Why? Because of offence. Because they were offended. At the doctrine. More so at Yahabashai. Right? And it says, and shall hate one another. So they were going to also hate one another. So bro, we're pretty much, we're pretty much in that time now. Right? Where people got all types of spirits upon them. Right? Shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. So you also got false prophets out there as well. That's why you got to check out the scripture says in John, try the spirits, buy the spirit. Right? You test the spirits and you test it through the scriptures. Is it back in with the scriptures what the scriptures say? Is it backed up with what Yahweh says? Right? The scripture says you will know a false prophet by his fruits. So you're also going to have false prophets. Even yet, bro, and I'm not, I, I can only speak what the scripture is saying. Leaders, right, that were false prophets that led other men astray. Yeah, bro, I've seen it. You can have, whole, you can have a leader. He, lead, he leads a whole camp astray. And now most of the camp are deceitful unless there's an elect within that camp. Right? That's why you've got to be very careful. The Lord is not dealing with the, what's it? The many, the few. Right? Some of these camps were just set up, not all, some of these camps were just set up to get you on the broad path. Right? That's why they were set up. To get you on that broad path. Okay. But that's why you gotta remain focused. <laughs> okay. You gotta remain focused on your heart by showing me other shy. Okay, bear me for it. <laughs> sending the women now. They're sending the women my way. Who's doing this? Bear me. And it says, check this out. And where was I? Where was I? Where was I? So that's why you gotta be on that narrow path. Right, this is more deep than you think. And let's quick, quicken this up. And shall deceive many. So many are deceived. Many false prophets. So where are the false prophets today? Oh, they're, they're there. Right? And it says, And because iniquity shall abound. So iniquity is abounding in the time we're in. Sin is abounding. Sin is increasing. The love of many shall wax cold. So the love of many is waxing cold. Many. The love of many is waxing cold, right? Not a few. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same key thing, the same shall be saved, right? The same. So this is about enduring. And this is the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the order world for a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. So when this gospel is preached unto all the world, that's when the end's going to come, right? That's how you know when it's going to come, because it shall be preached unto all the world, all right? So check this out, Baba Kishar. I want to jump straight to this. Jump to verse 21. For then shall there be great tribulations such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no ever shall be great tribulation. Right, since the beginning of the world, since nothing, nothing can be compared to it. So, there's going to be great tribulations beyond your comprehend, beyond our comprehension. <laughs> but the, the, the prophets were visionaries, they could see into the future. And we're going to break this down as well how bad it's going to get out here. 
All right, excuse me just a minute. All right. J J it's called Jacob's trouble. It's called Jacob's trouble within the scriptures. Because it's really catered. Now, everybody's going to be going through it. But it's more so catered to who? Jacob. All right. It's not really catered to the whole world. It's more so catered to Jacob. All right. And that's when it's going to be a time of, well, who really has faith? And who don't have faith? Everything we've been going through now has been leading up to that time. Everything we've been going through has literally been leading up to that time of Jacob's trouble. So everything you've learned, everything you've been through, all right, you're going to have to apply it in that time and in that day. Jacob's trouble, which shall come upon all the world to try them. Excuse me just a minute. So check this out. This is 2nd Ezra 15. I'm going to go straight to verse 16. You know what? Start at... Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. Go to verse 15. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh. And one people, key thing. One people, right? Key thing. One people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hands. So it says one people shall fight against another. With swords in their hands. Doesn't mean an actual sword. Right? It's just a group of people. That's all it is. It's not an actual sword. It's just a group of people. Right? So it says. With swords. Okay. And fight against another with swords in their hands. Weapons basically. Weaponry. In their hands. It's going to be really really bad. Gonna see people turn on each other, man. Alright. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. So yeah, seditions. But also, yeah, invading one another. Alright. Key thing, key thing, key thing. Invading one another. So you're going to have people invading the suburbs. Why? For food. For bread. Because that's the, listen, the people in the ghetto, where's the first place they're going to go to? If they're thinking about any type of resources. To the suburbs. And, and in every town, you have like suburbs, suburbs, but you have like a ghetto right next to it, not too far from it. Okay. And it says, for there shall be sedition among men, right? Uprisings and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. So it's going to get that bad. So the princes and the rulers, right? They're not going to be regarded. You're going to have pe people looking for them, coming for their heads, man. And the course of their actions, they'll stand in their power. Right? And a man shall desire to go into a city. Desire to. Key thing. Desire. And shall not be able. Why? That's martial law. Martial law. That's part of a big part of Jacob. Martial law is a big part of Jacob's trouble. And shall not be able to. Um, there's only a few motorways. M25 and a few others. That's one way in London. One way out. It was designed that way for a purpose, right? It's, remember, this is a grid system. Everything is very calculated. A man shall go into a city and shall not... A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because it's going to be lock-offs. It's going to be only one way in, one way out. It's going to be barricades. You already saw what happened when there was the vax... You already saw you already saw what happened, right? How they were shutting off certain places, barricading certain places. That was just a test run. And yeah, that was an example of martial law. Okay. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. It's a key thing. Key thing. 
A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? Key thing. And shall not be able. Because you're going to have curfews. Stay in your house. Don't come out. If you're going to come out, we're going to shoot. Soon, bro, it's going to be like that. People are going to be shooting. Cops are going to be shooting on spot. They're going to, they're going to send out military. And even with that whole pandemic, what did you have? You had the army sent out and also posted up at petrol stations controlling how much petrol you put in. That's what you had. So this is, you can imagine, this is only going to get worse. Okay. And it says, check this out. And the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So there's also, it says, for because of the pride of the city shall be troubled. So a lot of these cities, they're going to be troubled with people. And the houses shall be destroyed. So get ready to put that free, what's it? The free door lock up, <laughs> up on your door. Houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Key thing, men shall be afraid. Men, okay? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbour. No pity, all right? Bro, grown-ass men are going to be afraid. That's how bad it's going to be, all right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbour. So look, no man's going to have pity upon their neighbour. It's going to be bad out here. Gonna have people turn on each other, but destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. So people are gonna be doing this for food. Key thing: lack, lack of bread, right? Lack of bread, lack of food, lack of resources. That's what people are gonna want, right? Bro, it's gonna get bad out here when people ain't got food. They lose it because most of these people, they're not disciplined. They don't even have to go two, three hours without a meal. All right? And it says, check this out. I shall not pity his neighbour. So in this time, you ain't going to have to worry about none of that gang stalking stuff. You know why? Because the gang stalkers, they're going to be stalked in the height. Not going to need to worry about none of that stuff. Man. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Great tribulation. So that's what's going to happen in real time. Right? And it talks about destroy their houses with the sword. So there's going to be, you're going to have people running the streets. This is going to be like something out of, you ever watch that movie, um, Gangs of New York? It's going to be pretty much similar to that. People run in the streets with weaponry. Bro, it's going to get ancient. It's going to get very ancient out here, right? See, people are still comfortable. They can still go to the store. But they forgot about when the vax, the pandemic happened. They forgot about that. Me, bro, I was comfortable because brothers were teaching about that. We were even teaching about that. And guess what? It happened. It happened. You should have seen the spirit that people were in. They fell into depression. They couldn't, women couldn't get their nails done. People couldn't go to the bar. People got pubs shut down. A lot of people lost money. A lot of people, a lot of businesses went bankrupt. A lot of things were happening. Even certain people committed um, suicide, right? While that was happening, I was here reading the scriptures, calm as a cucumber. Okay. So these things happen, man. Okay. So it says, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. So you're going to have people breaking into households for food and for great tribulation. Because this is going to be the day of Jacob's trouble and great tribulation. They're going to want food. And within the stores, we believe it's about three days, three days, four days, three and a half days worth of food. Because that food goes off very quick. You see at midnight, you go into these local markets. From midnight, what do they do? What do they do? Huh? They chuck out most of the food. So that's what's going to be happening, man. You're going to have... You're going to have... Pandemics. You're going to have rioting, man. You're going to have all these things going to be happening in real time, man. Right? Food. All these different things. So we got to prepare ourselves... For this to happen, man said, no, no pity upon his neighbor, man. No pity. 
So we went to that Baba Kusha. Bro, we have to get ourselves ready, prepared spiritually. Go to Jeremiah 30. Just Jeremiah 30. And four. And these are the words that the Lord Jehovah spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Concerning Israel and Judah. For doth saith the Lord, we have heard. Move. Hey, get away. And it says, so this is what we've heard, the words concerning Judah. Right? So Judah represents what? Negro tribes. Okay. And it says, check this out, check this out. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. So this is what Jeremiah heard, and he obviously saw this in the vision as well. A voice of trembling. Not of peace. Okay. Verse 6. I'll see now and see whether a man doth travail with child. So there was trembling. And he heard this in a vision. Trembling. Right? I'll see now and see a man doth travail with child. Right? So there was fear, not of peace. And ask you now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Travel, man. Travel. With child. Ask now if a man of travel with child. Like a man's in birth. Birth pains. Right? Well, we know men can't get pregnant. Right? So, what did Jeremiah see? Jeremiah saw men in agony, frustration, panic, and in turmoil. Usually when a man's in turmoil, he holds his, what, stomach region, right? And it says, check this out. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman? Key thing. As a woman in travail. And all faces turned into paleness. So, this is what Jeremiah saw. Jeremiah saw grown-ass men in travail. In pain. This is what he saw by what was happening upon earth. The only ones that are going to be able to handle this is going to be the elect. That's going to be the only ones that are going to be able to handle this, man. All right? And it says, and all faces turn into powerless through fright. Verse 7, alas, for that day is great, so none is like it. Keith, alas, means whoa. For that day is great, so none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Whew. Key thing. It says it is even a day of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So the elect, key thing, the elect are going to be saved out of it. The elect, right? Even a day of Jacob's trouble. Whew. Bear with just a minute. Alas, for that day is great, so none is like it. You can't compare no other day like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, right? But he shall be safe out of it. Key thing. But he, not everyone, he shall be saved out of it. He. Who the elects. Right? Bro, this is how bad it's going to be. The only thing you can do is pray that you're found worthy to escape that. Because it's going to come up on the earth. Go to Revelations as well. Go to Revelations. Right? We got Revelations 2 and 10. Okay, is there anything else? We also got Revelations 3. Mm. And 10. Check this out. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation as well. One thing I messed up, the hour of temptation is also the mark of the beast, which is going to be the RFID that's going to be implemented during that time of Jacob's trouble. How are they going to implement that? 
How are, going to, how are they going to implement that? Through chaos, order out of chaos. So they're going to create scenarios where there's, remember who creates the chaos? The ones that create the chaos are the 1% that rule this world. So they say the 1%. So they're going to create the chaos and therefore come up with what? Solution, when that's where they have the order. And they're going to say, look, these people, they're, too much things are going on, too much shootings, too much anarchy. We need control of these people. That's why they want to create a chaotic society. Have you ever heard that, um, that phrase, controlled chaos, organized chaos? So yeah, yeah, they're organizing chaos. That's how they can bring in martial law. And martial law is when the power no longer belongs to the government, but now it belongs to the military. All right, that's what martial law is. So let's go back to this now. Revelations 3 and 10. He says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So it's coming upon the whole world to try them. This is going to be the ultimate last test. The last test. Right, and everything we've went through now, brothers, whether you've been wearing the truth two years, five years, ten years, everything you had to go through is supposed to build you up to that time. Okay, everything, and it says, Check this out to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11 Behold, I come quickly. So, Yahweh is on his way, hold that fast to which thou has, and let no man take thy crown. So, we got to hold fast. To what we have and make sure nobody nobody takes our crown hold fast all right don't let no one take your crown this is all prophecy of the last days and when you read revelations 13 and 16 it says he and he calls if all both small great rich poor free born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and whoever does not have cannot buy nor sell. Right? You're going to be labelled void. That's how you're going to be labelled. Or a dis or some type of dissident. Or some type of enemy to the system. Because you don't have it. They're going to say, well, why? Why? Why don't you have it? Why don't you want to take it? Is there something you're hiding? Then they're going to br blame you. Listen. They're looking to... This has already started. They're looking to blame you. They're looking to blame us for the problems that are going on. Oh, see, here's the reason why the vax. Well, people are getting vax. Well, here's the reason why. Why? Yeah, see. But they're gonna um, market this as something that's convenient and so forth, and for security measures. So, with this device, you're gonna be able to open your car with it, and it's gonna be issued in your hand. Because it says in your right hand or in your forehead. Right? So it's going to be in your hand. So you're going to be able to open car doors with it. Um, access computer with it. Because you're not going to have access to computer unless you have this. You're not going to have the access to any stores. Because remember, the stores, they're changing the whole way things are done. They're changing this slowly. Right? So you're not going to be able to... How, you know, how are you going to be able to buy anything in stores? They're changing the credit. This is... It's changing to a credit system now. It's a digitalized system. They're doing away with cash soon. So if you don't receive this, you're not going to be able to operate. It's simple. So you're, you're really going to need to put your trust and your faith in your have a shy. Right? Seriously. They want, they want people that are codependent on the, They want people that are codependent on the system. Right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast that which thou hast. Let no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from the heavenly Father. And I will write unto him a new name. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Right, so he write unto him a new key thing, a new name, a new name. So this is about you have to endure. 
But this is, I will go on longer, but I wanna, I've got other videos to do. But this is what Jacob trouble, this is what it entails. It's gonna be a very, very hot, it's gonna be a hard time. And it's gonna come up on the whole world, but those that have Yahweh Shai, those that have faith, are gonna get through it. That's why the scriptures also say in Corinthians, for we walk not by faith, we're not walking by faith, but by, it's like a, but we walk by not by sight, but by faith. Because if you were to walk by sight, you were to look at this and you think, oh my gosh, how can I get past all of this? How can I conquer all of this? You're going to have to have another force on your side. You're definitely going to have to have Yahweh on your side to get through this. All of this, you're going to need to. You're going to need to, 100%. So Lord willing, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to shut off here. And until the next one, shut up one, shut up one.